So I've had the question quite a bit recently about Warner Brothers and asking why they don't just sack Amber and bring in Johnny and they'll just make all their money. And whilst on the outside that kind of makes sense, let me give you my take as a consultant and um, somebody that goes into businesses like Warner Brothers and helps to fix problems like AA. Now, we know Warner Brothers is a very old, long-standing business that's been through multiple mergers and acquisitions. And in my experience, those kind of businesses have very complicated structures. So what does this mean for Warner Brothers in terms of one actor that is currently employed within the DC part of the business versus one that was fired from the Harry Potter side of the business? Well, essentially what that means is that the businesses are siloed. Warner Brothers is like the franchise holder. And as much as all the money goes back to them, each individual side of the businesses are siloed. They have their own presidents. They have their own marketing teams. They have their own budgets, their own uh, merchandising deals. They're essentially run as completely separate businesses. Now, even though all the money goes back to Warner Brothers HQ, their all individual business is responsible for its own revenue. So what that means is for somebody like Walter Hamada, his neck is on the line because he needs to make a decision that fits that part of the business. You know, they could absolutely bring back Johnny on the Harry Potter side of the business and make a ton of money, but it's not going to help DC. So if they were just looking at it in terms of revenue, yes, it would make sense to fire Amber, considering all the bad press, and bring back JD um, in the Harry Potter franchise. But I will bet my bottom dollar that the way that business is structured, the only way that decision is going to be able to be made, which is going to be above president level, is if the CEO basically makes that decision. And as much as he's new and he's going to want to put his stamp on that business, I think he is waiting to see what those consultants are going to recommend to him. But wouldn't that be great if David Zaslov, who is meant to be very hands on, makes a decision to say, Amber, Johnny, wouldn't that be great?